We were going to have to get on the tower on Irish Hill, and it was going to cost us quite a bit more than that. I'm hoping we're not we don't go that route, but I would like to reserve the ten thousand for another year if we could. Um, also, in the highway general budget, we had um, an excess in guardrails, so we'd like to reserve two thousand dollars. I believe guardrails was also reduced from the two thousand nineteen budget. We had in the other highway, other budget, we had $1,300 reserved to cover the cost of tire disposal. Tim has not sent tires I, I this year. I called Gate Salvage because they take them when they shred them and then ship them out to us. And they couldn't take any town tires right now because they got such a backlog that they just don't have the room to. Um, so they said that give them a call in a month or so and probably they'd have it. Okay. So we're thinking we're going to need it. that to pay for the tires. And the last is from police services and it's the Berlin Community Fund. This is the fund that uh, businesses and or citizens donate for special things for the police. And one of the things they use it for is the Halloween program for the kids and things. They have um, an excess at the moment of 39 Hundred and some dollars. We put it as an, an amount not to see thirty nine fifty five, not knowing what we're going to have in the next couple of weeks to reduce that. But it certainly won't be any larger than thirty nine fifty five, and we have done that in the past, transferring to the police community fund reserve. Um, and again, this is in getting ready for the end of the year, which is almost here. That's right. You're amenable if we could have a motion and. Yep. Your motion? I'll mo <clears throat> move to approve the use of the, res uh, the reserves and carry them forward as described. Second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Can I get your signatures on there, please? Uh, motion carries. Is he all saying? No. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Josh Walker, Black Road. Yep. Um, well, I'm just back. You know what I went through here back last year, and um, having trouble again about like with the drainage. Um, having my neighbors putting stuff in the natural flow of where the water goes. So I went like earlier this year and kind of cleaned out the side of the driveway so that the water would stay um, in the ditch. And it's the ditch moves out of that. You guys. Um, gave me an extra two feet width to maintain. Well, as soon as it gets out of the two feet, they start, they're filling the ditch in with stuff, so it's gonna just pile up and run right down my driveway. And I really don't wanna be here again for this. I tried um, contacting, you know, I contacted Dave a few weeks ago about talking about this and getting this stuff straightened out. Um, nothing happened. I actually, today when I was leaving, um, Beth was just pulling in her driveway. I walked into her driveway and nicely asked if we could talk this out. And she was talk what out? And I was like, this problem we're having with the driveway. And she says, well, I think you have a problem with voyeurism. That um, I was having trouble with my uh, Cassell, my uh, Myers container getting kicked over a number of times, hundred times at least. And so I came to the police department about it. And they said to set up, a, and I told them I knew who it was. And they said, well, you can't, you gotta prove that it was them. So I put up a game camera and uh, definitely caught her in the act. And then the next thing I know, I'm on front page forum, scanning their house for a break-in. So 
uh, I, I just can't get anywhere trying to talk to them and make this stuff work. So you know, when, you gave, when you gave me the, uh, the uh, right of way down through, it wasn't down the middle of the uh, of the class four road. It was I was pushed all the way over onto the Colgan's land of that road, and so now they have put sticks all down the road and they painted lines all down where they don't think I should be, which I, which I don't want to be. I'm just trying to maintain the drainage. I mean, you know, the towns have to do that every year, clean out the rubble that's been put in there, the leaves, the branches, and I do that. And even like last year, during the, the meetings last year, I was cleaning the branches out and then I got accused of stealing firewood when it was just lawn debris that I was actually cleaning up and getting rid of. It wasn't like I was taking it and putting back on their property. I was cleaning it up and getting rid of it. So it's just mainly I'm here to try to protect my driveway, you know, my access to my home. Yes, sir. So, um, there are uh, pretty significant gaps to, the, to what is presented as facts. <clears throat> um, so last year, we wasted a lot of time fighting about this, and you guys were um, subject to that. Um, Josh got what he wanted. He got the full rod centered on the existing improved gravel portion. Um, the select board retains authority over the full two rod width of the road. Um, we have not done anything to um, that doesn't comply with with the with the permit for maintenance that the town gave to the walkers. We've done absolutely nothing. Uh, we have honored the 16 and a half feet centered on the existing gravel road. Uh, we know that because we um, have actually measured it. Um, um, uh, Josh said he kindly approached my wife today. That's not true. It went badly quickly, and they parted with parted ways. Uh, Josh mentioned that he talked to me a couple of weeks ago about talking about this. It was days ago, and I said, yep, I'd be amenable to talking. Uh, I wasn't going to do it right now. Um, we had a game camera for, I don't know, some period of time, um, pointed directly at our house. Uh, we called the police. They must have known about it. Went to talk to you, told you. Or, no, I guess somebody came and took it down. Must have been connected by Wi-Fi or something. Because uh, came and took it down pretty quickly. Um, so uh, I would caution on the side of um, believing everything you're hearing. Um, we have we have actually measured the width of the running surface of the road. Scratch a little spot in the middle of the road, measured eight and a quarter feet off of that. And um, um, if you all might recall, uh, I suggested that we survey, that we share the cost of surveying the road, and then sur uh, share the cost of surveying the right of way as permitted. Um, and that was not included in the, in the permit. So we took it upon ourselves to do that. Josh wants to go measure that. He's more than welcome to. Uh, I find it fascinating that it's a guy that makes a living measuring and cutting stuff um, is having a difficult time measuring those short distances. Um, so we don't want to have anything to do with it. We, we accepted this uh, once it was settled without question. Um, and we are happy to comply with, with the permit that the town gave. We're not asking for more, but we certainly don't want less. Well, it just so happens to me that I have the video from the camera that shows that it's not on their house, that it shows it was on my 
trash container and I was advised by the police chief to put that camera up because I was a number of times picking that thing up. <clears throat> and this has nothing to do with it right of way down through there. It's just the hassle that I'm putting up with since you they were mad because I got this extra two feet. And I knew the extra two feet wasn't going to be enough to where the water drains, because the water drains beyond that two feet. Right where it hits the two feet, they're blocking the drainage. Jeremy? Um, I, I guess I'm, I'm wondering, what is it that we can do for you today? I'd like to just be able to keep the drainage working. That's it. This is, this is not our responsibility to keep the drainage working there. I mean, I, I, in, in my opinion, I mean, we went out of our way to negotiate between, between you two to try to find a nice middle ground that was maybe not everybody liked exactly what happened, but we don't have a responsibility. I mean, yes, it's a town road, but if there's something specific that you're looking for us to do, let, let us know what that is and let's talk about it. So I can go up to the end of my driveway and just the town culvert and just throw stuff right in front of that culvert? I mean, that's kind of what you're saying. You know what else? No, I'm, yeah. I'm, no hold on. Yep. I'm asking you, mm -hmm. what is it that you would like us to do tonight? Just ask them if they can just please let me keep the, the drainage maintained through there. Can you keep the drainage maintained over there? Um, we. Um, so the other thing we talked about when we were here uh, a year ago uh, was creep. Um, we expected creep and we got creep. Um, the right of way is 16 and a half feet wide for maintenance of the, of the road. Um, and already it's being maintained outside of that permitted um, space. Um, and so I don't know what you want. I don't know what we're doing here either. So I, I, the only reason I know about it is because we read it on the front porch forum. I have, and we, we just came here to protect protect uh, ourselves. So so you guys had it surveyed, you said? No, it doesn't oh. need to be surveyed. Oh, there's, oh, there's, hold there's, hold on. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just trying to clarify. So, so you said you, you didn't end up getting it surveyed? We did not, no. Okay. Could you guys put up some flags and agree where that boundary is so that everybody knows what's what and leave it up and that way? It, it's very easy. There's pins that show both sides of that road. It's, 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 it's there. That would be extremely easy to do. I mean, the, the width of the road is clear. Uh, when, and, and then when you're me measuring eight and a quarter feet, it's not, it's not a stretch. I mean, if you're measuring eight and a quarter <coughs> miles, it's a problem. Eight sure. and a quarter feet is sure. not. Dave's not talking about the center of the right of way. He's talking about my driveway that's pushed way over so, to the edge. Agree on where to put some flags so that you know exactly where you can maintain, you know exactly where you're expecting him to maintain, and then you guys don't have to argue about exactly where things are. <clears throat> the only other option I see is to send Tim up there with a grader to maintain the road, and we got 33 feet. Nobody's going to be happy if we do that. Mm -hmm. I'm not looking to have that done. No. So if you guys work it out, we won't have to do that. What if I've tried to work it out. I've tried to talk to Dave. I've tried to talk to Beth. And it, it's crap. I went in there nicely because I knew this meeting was coming up. I wanted to. I didn't want to bring this to the board again. Walked in nicely, talked to Beth. She told me to get the f off her property. That's where it went bad. I didn't raise my voice. I was. I was trying so, to remedy the okay. problem. So. Work on the boundaries, mark them. I think this is not the town's responsibility. I mean, if there's some if there's some sort of thing and you're encroaching on the town's right of way and something's going wrong, then let's then let's come back to it. And, this and, I'll, is, and I'll hold on. Yeah. I, I will let Tim report back to us if, if this agreement is in violation. This is between you guys. This is not. This is not. Uh, uh, well, this is in the town right of way. This is still in the town right of way. Therefore, this is not our issue. So I would. I would. I would like us to move on, please. I would like to move on, too. I just, you know, it's ridiculous for me to drive home and see a pile of, have you seen it, Dave? Did you walk down and see the debris that, I don't know if you did it or Beth did it, debris right in the swale of the ditch where the water comes off of your lawn? That water goes downhill. It doesn't go downhill. Well, most of this no, argument has nothing to do with the road. I'm the sorry? road is, the road is in good shape. 
Because yeah. I, I maintain it, I put money into it, so I'm trying to protect that. What they're doing is making it so the water's going to run right down my road, right down my driveway. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to keep it. I had to put, when I got my permit, I had to put a culvert in it. So this water is directed to that culvert. That's the one at the, at the, at the bottom of the at hill? the bottom of it, yeah, right at Black, Black, where Black Road and my actual home driveway cuts off. There's a culvert right there, and the town made me, wanted me to, made me put that in there to get my permit. So this water is directed to that culvert, but, but it does encroach beyond the two feet extra that you guys gave me, which which isn't the center of the right of way. This isn't, this, we're way, I'm way onto Colgan's property, actually. Where my driveway is, is Colgan's property. That, and they, and they that want point, to take that all point, we settled that this. last year at 16 and a half feet centered on the existing approved gravel portion. That was settled last year. I don't even know why you heard it. That Dave, that was something you made a phone call. I mentioned to you that it wasn't, well, you know, we, then you made a phone we, call and then it was. We all went up there and agreed that the gravel surface that's there now was 12 feet. So we, you got voted to make it 16 and a half feet. So that's four feet from the edge of that gravel now on both sides is where it should be. Yep. Yeah. Or a little over four feet. Let's see that with the drainage, moves off of that extra two feet that I am taking care it's of. Gonna, it, it's going to be four feet. Well, it's two feet on the two, other side. Two feet it's on only two side. feet on their side. <clears throat> I really don't want to cause it. I don't even want to be here for this. I really tried to straighten this out with them, but it's just impossible. Well, this sounds more like a neighborhood spat to me than anything else. I am... Um, a little leery of going into uh, any uh, decision making on this. As long as the road is is in is in a better shape than it was before, I don't think that we really the the board needs to get into this. No, and I don't and, and I don't want you to. I didn't want to be here, but it was written in the last agreement that anything that's going to change has to go above before the board. And what is changing? And blocking the drainage. And are they? Is it blatantly doing it? Because I cleaned it out so the water would go. You know, right, so that's, in, that's it. I cleaned it out. Yeah. It's, it's like six feet outside of the where the hole. But it's still in the town. Could, could, could you put flags, flags up? up? Property for crying out loud. So up to you guys. So, so let's have Tim put flags up according to the agreement, and you guys can abide by them. I mean, that's it. Flags go up, yep. you know where it is, and let's be done. Would you do that, Tim? That'd be awesome. And like I say, <clears throat> it's easy enough to know where it is, but you don't understand what's going on up there, Jeremy. This this right well, away where my well, Josh, if, is. Josh, if we put up flags, that's going to solve the problem. Simple as that, unless somebody moves them. So, so they can just continue to block the drainage. There. <laughs> if it's if it's outside of the flags, then they have the right then because you agreed to the sixteen foot. 16 and a half feet. Yeah, but I agreed for the center of the right of way. I didn't agree. Well, if I go up there and measure it, it's going to be measured from the center, center of the right of way. Okay. So center that's the, the only center, center of the right of way. Center of the gravel road that's there now. Right. If I go up there, because that's right. the only way you can decide it. That's what the permit says. Very good. Why would it be from the center it. of where it is now when this is already, that was, it was an old two tire tracks when I built my house there 20 because years ago. This was two tire says. tracks down through. The property and I just graveled over the top of it. It wasn't. It was within the town right of way, but it was way to the left of the right of way. Way like Do you want me to get killing maple tree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm so this is a great state. Yeah. I don't have you on taking get into that into that ground. Yeah, no, I think I can get it. So. Okay, then <coughs> we'll mark out the road, and then we'll be. Well, it's marked out because they went down with uh, orange paint and paint it all down the side of it. Now, yeah, the two feet beyond the uh, edge of the gravel surface is there. So, so Tim's markings will be authoritative, and everybody can abide by those. So, well, that, I mean, he'll, he's going to be neutral. He's going to be enforcing, enforcing it as we drafted it a year ago, and hopefully everybody. You know, when you drafted that a year ago, I objected to that. 
but that's the way it was getting going, passing through. And I told you I would be back here. I told all of you I'd be back here because okay. of this. Okay. Can you get that done, Tim, since mm -hmm. we're only here? Yep. Okay. Um, anything else? Moving on to the next item. Bid for road paving. This was no. the um, bids that you opened last time. There were two bidders. Um, and we have done, uh, I believe we've got my memo in the work that we had done as far as analyzing the bid. Um, one question that had come up was square yards, how many tons is in a square yard? And we were able to figure that out. I was able to do a very rough estimate. I'm not a measure for road construction, but with Tim's help, I was able to get an approximately area and come to a tonnage, and my tonnage wasn't exactly agreed with them, but it was close. Um, so I think the tonnage is, is all right. We've got um, two bidders. Um, they are about $2,200 apart. The lower bid is Jay Hutchins. Um, Tim did mention to me that he would like to have the cold planing material uh, for his use. And and correct me if I'm wrong, but Pike wants to keep the cold planing material. It was never brought up in the original discussion, so. Okay, but and have you had that discussion with Tim? And, and well, yeah, I mean, we're up for discussion, but there's a $9 per ton spread compared to Hutchins and us. And so, I'm just a little confused as to why we're, you know, we're still discussing it, but, you know. Well, let me ask. So you're telling me no. I'm, I'm just, no, no, I'm, we're, yeah, we're not. Yeah. We're open to discussion about it, but. I thought we were going to send out clarifications. That's what we said at the last meeting, ask questions. Well, and Tim, Tim, Tim and I went and remeasured. Yeah. It's been remeasured. So I came up with 1,450 right. tons. And, and so you come up, I'm just confused at how you guys come up with a $2,200 difference. I on, took your new yeah, your new tonnage estimate, mm -hmm. multiplied it by your 93.75. Yep. And, and, and then I took <coughs> Hutchins bid using their estimate of 1,300. Mm -hmm. um, Tons. Oh. As Tim spoke with both of you to verify that we had spoken that we were going to redo the amount of tonnage to make sure it's correct. Oh. And so, using your new tonnage mm -hmm. and using 93.75 a ton, that's where I came out with the $2,200 difference. Well, it's 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 135,937.50. Right, but, lumps. If you the total. But you told the total, but and we're Hutchins, supposed Hutchins total is one thirty three seven oh five. So we're not paying by the time? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which is less tonnage. No, yeah. but we're paying for actual tonnage when the job's done. The, the, yeah. We are paying yeah. for tonnage. Yeah. Hutchins yeah. believes they can do it for thirteen hundred tons and, and fourteen and fourteen fifty for pike. Right, but if but so tonnage say, is say a ton is a ton and say we do only lay thirteen hundred tons. I'm nine dollars a ton cheaper, so. I, I I hear what you're saying, but I have to. I mean, I That's took the bid I'm to be that, and yeah, maybe I'm wrong, but I took the bid I that mean, if we, we were bid on thirteen hundred tons, that would be what we would use. I, I mean, would not know how many that we use that. I mean, you figured it at fourteen fifty, so how do we know it's going to be fourteen fifty, or if it's going to be less until you're done? But well, you this, you this don't want to part with the granules. You, it wasn't right. part of the well, initial conversation. Yes, it was. The, Not the conversation. The second conversation we had. The first time I talked to you, I told you I wanted the granules. I told you that when you talked to me on the phone. I said because we have use for them, and you and you never said anything until last meeting. You told me that that's part of the price is that you take the grindings because you recycle them and reuse them. We do, and I told okay. you we now, how much does that save you a ton by you reusing them? 
What's the spread on the pricing? No, I'm asking you, what, what's it What's it save you? I don't get into the savings portion of the plan. What I don't understand, though, is we're paying by the ton. Mm -hmm. So this should be simple. It doesn't matter how many tons. What's your price per ton and what's your price per ton? That's all that matters. That's, okay, I do not. <clears throat> Obviously, if, I, if we're paying by the lump sum, that's a different situation. Yeah, but we're not paying by the lump sum. Okay, I took it by the lump sum. <clears throat> 10285. Right. The, the only thing that I will say about the whole thing is the bid did not ask for a cold one. So I, no. gave, I gave you a price for paving. Don't think they did. No, we did. Oh, we did. Yeah, our 93.75 includes full plane. I, I know, that's my point. You didn't ask for full plane. But what's, the, what's the cost of you next? Just the cost that, of you that's, what we, that's what we're going to get down to here. Is cause what's the, the cost of well, you? How is, hold, hold on. How is it fair for me or him? Okay, because after the fact, after you open the bids up, right, you know what my my price is. I know what his prices are. Okay, and I'm being fair to everyone here. I could easily just say my price for cold plane is 245, and my mix is whatever that is off there. What I'm asking you guys to do is, if you guys think it's truly 1,300 tons, we can go with Dana's tonnage. I'm just going back here. I'm not a road person. Right. Someone gives me 1,300 tons. I have no way. I tried to do it mathematically. Mm -hmm. I understand that the price per ton is different, but how much is your mix per ton? I didn't do it that way, and I didn't come to this meeting prepared to talk about that. But and I'm not giving price on our no. Time. The problem with the bid is you didn't ask for In coal plant. Document. He gave you a price all combined. I gave you a price right. for Seven. paving. That yeah. that's and so yeah. Yeah. comparing the number you're talking about is has that doesn't matter because he and not him, Pike, hasn't told you what it is for paving. He wrapped it all into one price. But my point is, just correct me if I'm wrong, if I take your price for coal planting and thir 1,300 tons, correct. add it together, right. take his price of right. moving coal planting times right. 1,300 tons, they're cheaper. Right. I, yeah, but I, he's, yeah, he's not, not coming not, in at 1,300. I'm not. But it doesn't matter. You're going to pay for what they use. Well, what happens if they use 1450 and then what, what happens, happens if they use 1450? Well, <laughs> I mean, all I'm saying is if you're asking for a price per ton, how can you determine it? Yeah, but he hasn't given us a price per ton, though. Yes, he has. Oh, he hasn't. He gave you no, a price for He gave you a price for tonnage that, that and, and coal plant. All combined together. All combined together. Because if you look at the bid documents, it's where are the bid documents? Right, but it doesn't say anything about coal plating. No, no, no. no. Coal coal plating that's all right. Was, was talked after, you know, when we Correct. called Tim. And Go if on. you guys want, I think what EJ and I are saying is if you want coal planting and paving, tell us up front. In a, I told you. In, no, no, front. in a bid document. Not that you didn't tell us. That's a problem, to be honest with you. It should be in writing. And I'm not saying Tim, because Tim and I had a conversation, we want coal planting and paving. And I'm so, not disagreeing with it. Should be in writing. I agree with that. Well, that's why my bid was there's two separate prices there. Maybe, maybe to get to that. A note for next time so that we can add this to. Our I think we'll we will do that. It says it says bids are requested to be submitted at a per ton price. Da 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 da. da across the highway. 0.52 miles, 50 foot right away. Yeah, it doesn't call out. It just says the price per ton. And going forward, and we've had the same discussion in a bunch of places. Yeah. Just give us, because Wayne, your point is exactly correct. Just yeah. give us a tonnage. I, Whether it's 1,400, you give us a tonnage. That I'm way I'm bidding, bidding on 1,400, he's bidding on 1,400. Yeah. Whether we use 13 or we use 15. <laughs> that's my point. We're still, it, it, but when you want us to go out and measure it, well, that's, why we're, that's why we're going to come up with different numbers. No, but my point is it should have been, it should have been a request for proposals for approximately 1,500 tons. Mm -hmm. of not, approx not approximately. I just tell it, give us a number because it's no. not coming. So it doesn't no, matter. right. But I mean, if it's 1,380, it's 1,380. Right, exactly. It is what it is. Right. But we all got to use the same number. And believe me, just so you know, you're the same as every single town. Yeah, we go to this. Yeah. Everyone does. <laughs> and we have the same discussion. So well they, they, want, they want us to go out measuring. <laughs> and he comes up with 14, I come up with 15. We're like, yeah. well, how do we compare these? Like, well, you've got to give us the actual length and width. And then it's everyone's going to come up with the same number. But, but not only that, 
Just give us a number. Okay. Give you a ton. Correct. Yeah. Just give us a ton. Two inch, two inch coal planting right. and paving. Right. Yeah. Right. This many tons. Exactly. Right. And the only thing, and I'm not arguing anything here, that did not ask for a coal planting price. I had talked to Tim, like we talked about. Yeah. So I gave you one for coal planting and I gave you one for paving in case you just wanted to pave it and you couldn't afford doing the coal planting. My only point in this whole thing is Pike's price is a combined price. You have no idea, and now that the bids are open, what their paving right. price is. So I'm trying to come up with a fair resolution now that everybody knows. Well, just give it to Hutchins, that's fair. No. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, if you right, I just, you're, you're comfortable with your coal planting price. Yeah, I mean, there's. Yeah. So if I take your coal planting price, add it to your asphalt price, say it's 1,300 tons, yeah. take his price. By right. 1,300 tons. They're less. Than they're the they're way better. The, I, I can't argue that. There's no. But now, what's the deal with the with the rack? Right. That's that's that, the only issue. That's now the is. only issue in. I know you can buy it off the belt for five dollars a ton. Well, right. I, no. Six six or seven dollars a ton is probably. So if you do that, our prices are are very close. Because yeah. I was giving all the wrap. He's going to give to them. They're going to give it all to us, and they don't want to part with it. But what I'm saying is, I didn't <laughs> why don't we add seven dollars a ton to their price and see what the little bitters? It's still, huh? It's still I, I haven't done that, man. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out a way. No, I, I, I understand that. I understand. Right, I mean, bucks, I, I will tell you, go get a card price from Pike for what the wrap is. I, <laughs> it's not seven dollars. Yes. It's not seven dollars no. a ton. It's not. But there's. Is it? mountain of it over there at Berlin so if that's you know <laughs> we if that's what it boils down to here I'm just trying to figure a fair way to do it I right? understand with yeah, all the I numbers understand. on the table I can't I can't <laughs> argue anything you're doing I mean again at, the, at their price is lower than ours price. Price. without the wrap there is no doubt about that so, so I, I can't dollar. argue that back a dollar ten a dollar ten a dollar ten it comes to a hundred and one dollar it's a wash I mean hundred dollars like five cents a ton It's With the numbers on the table, there's no fair way to do this other than try to. No, do no. I mean that's that's there. I mean, but we're we're assuming that it's seven dollars a ton. Well, I, I still say that we got to do apples for apples if that's what we're going to do. Well, we should follow the the bid arrangement here and uh, just do it by the by the. Uh, take the bids on the. Ton basis. Figure it out from there. Right. So you're gonna make me get out of calculator. <laughs> <laughs> you got too many apps. Yeah. I do. Too many apps. <laughs> <laughs> and no one can get run. So let's just say 1,300 tons. Yeah, what's, right. <laughs> what's Pike's price when you add seven dollars? Well, uh, ninety-three seventy-five a ton. Hundred seventy-five. Hundred dollars and seventy-five cents. So their price is one hundred and thirty thousand nine seventy-five. And what is Hutchins' price when you add it all together? Uh, I'm sorry, one hundred two eighty-five. No, that's not right. That's just the payment. Yeah, that's not right. It's 90. No, but what's the combined price for 1302? 133.705. Mm -hmm. I believe. Something like that. Something like that. So, can I ask the question? Where'd you come up with the $7 a ton added on? Just to ask them what it costs off the belt. I mean, it's not processed, but, it's just off the But right now. do you know how many tons are going to come out of there? It's, it's the same either way. Whatever we're putting back in. Yeah, whatever we're putting back out. Yeah, okay, so he had 1,450. Huh? He had 1,450 tons. Yeah, we're just trying to take but a But it doesn't matter because we're paying by what it actually is. If we're paying by the lump sum, it would matter. I'm assuming if you two fellows cold plane, it would come out to be somewhere near the same number of tons. 
Yeah, yeah, oh, sure. So, yeah. Right. Whatever you take out, you're going to put back in. Right. So, so I mean, take out 1,300 tons. I mean, there's exactly. a little difference there because when you grind it, there's flops and there's, so yeah. it's not going to be exact, but it, it's, I mean, <laughs> theoretically, let's be honest, you're taking out two inches, you're putting back two inches. If it takes 1,300 to put back in, it's going to be 1,300 you took out. Yeah. Right? I mean, there's some ruts and stuff, so that some of that pavement's gone, so it's not going to be exactly yeah. 30. But if both of you coal plane two inches. Yeah, we're yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. It's it's yes. it There's no difference in coal plane, no nothing. No any of that. So I, if, if $7 a ton is a rational amount for the grindings, which is it to process it, yeah. Well, well, you could make. I'm it. asking. Uh, well, again, I, sure. I, I don't know what their costs are. I mean, right. we just started doing this. I have no idea what their costs are. I know the stuff once it's processed is nowhere near seven dollars. Right. Time. Once it's crushed, and processing, right. it is just doesn't cost the fourteen dollars a ton they're going to sell it for, or the fourteen dollars they're going to sell it for twenty dollars a ton if they process. So are we. I mean, I'm not saying that. No, <laughs> yeah, we are so, too. Well, you're so haul, just, but, but we don't want. But we don't want the rat. Lots. Right. I mean, that's the right. whole thing. Is we don't want the rat. But I don't know. I don't know how else you do it after the numbers are out. I mean, I'm not here to argue with him. I mean, no. we do this all day, so yeah. it, it, it is what it is. You guys need to make a decision. Uh, again, the bid document wasn't exactly clear. You guys need to make a decision. Um, I don't know that him, Tyson, and I are going to help you make that decision. <laughs> no. And we're not, we're, I mean, our other option is to throw them out and rebid it, which makes no sense. Well, it makes no sense because right. the bids have already been, and you know right. what, we know what prices are now. So it, right. now right. you just got to, for the town, you got to make a decision for yourself. What is the best? <laughs> what is your best option? And what the decision I need to make is what's the, the you're both legitimate contractors sure. that can do yeah, the job, yeah, and not? what our job is to take the lowest bid for the taxpayers of the town. Without question, I don't. I'm not arguing. So let me ask you this question: Are we going to get the wrap from pipes? I don't know. Because <laughs> well, you can't make that decision I'm, until you have that answer. No, I know. <laughs> I, mean, I I could use it. Right. I got to finish this parking lot out here behind the building. They put quite a bit more in here to bring it up level with the old parking lot and can use it for shoulders. Mm -hmm. um, you can use it on uh, the police department on some of it on their class four road where they go to their shooting range. So you want it delivered to the town garage? Mm -hmm. And that was, that was the agreement. I mean, I could use it in mud season. Right. No, I understand that. Because it's not going to be it's, that's going to that's going to be good wrap over there because it's got an inch and a half of well most of it is an inch and a half shim that we put down last year to, right. have to get us through because we we've been fighting with the state for the bid for so long and I mean it's not going to be big chunks so I can use it during mud season. The only thing that haunts you if you got big chunks when when it, when you go to grade, you get chunks of blacktop in there. But if it's ground up like the stuff that I get off the interstate from Allstate, that was new and some old payment, it was you could make it out in my hand. It was good stuff. So I mean, it's going to save the town money there. I mean, fourteen hundred save just fourteen hundred tons. I mean, that's going to be the first line. So, <laughs> so once again, if that was in the bid documents, that the wrap was to be delivered to the town garage, then we wouldn't be having this discussion. No, we wouldn't. I have no idea about wrap. <laughs> Let me know what town does a really good job for bid documents. <laughs> <laughs> Well, again, we'll be willing to help you again. And just yeah. for apples to apples, give us a tonnage. If you want the wrap, say you want it delivered to this location, because then we can figure out trucking as to how long it takes to get there, whether whether you're going to push it up, whether we're going to push it up, you know, all those kind of things in there. Yeah. We can Then we can all bid it apples to apples. You know, yeah. when you want us to figure stuff out, right. uh, it just... 
I feel bad. It's a bad situation. Well, no, you were you <laughs> did that much over a long time. Right. You know, you I've know been, what I'm talking about. I've lived in construction <laughs> yeah, my whole exactly. life. I understand yeah. what's going on. That's why I'm trying to make a yep. Yep. clear decision. Sure, mm -hmm. no, that's understandable. Okay. You guys need to go to the lowest price. If we're not the lowest price, we're not the lowest price. I mean, I'm not here to argue against Sam or anyone else. Yeah. I don't think the bid dogging was right. The rack makes a big difference. That that is the bottom line. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a valuable resource. Can you answer that? What? If we would give back wrap? Yeah. I can. I can answer that right now. And I think we'd be willing to. That means we get to wear it. But, you know, there also is a price spread for a reason. And, you know, that's just, you know, that's my only point to it. Is it seven dollars? So the price spread's nine. No, so but what's the wrap worth to look at the time range? If we, I would say if we split the total volume, that's what it's worth. So if you called it seven dollars, and we say there's thirteen hundred tons, there's six hundred and fifty tons there. That's worth something to us. But if it means not getting the job or getting the job, um, we'll give it up. So both of you have bid on a ton, uh, for ton amount, and without the wrap coming back to the town. No, he's no. bringing the town. His, my price his is, is coming with it to the town. So what are you trying to say? That you'd charge us $7 a ton for 650 tons to bring it to the town garage? No, I'd give you the route. That's what it boiled down to, all of it, 1,300 tons. If that's what it boiled down to. I think to make it's boiled down to that. It's boiled down to that. <laughs> okay. I, I think, so on, a, on an estimated tonnage of 1,300 tons, mm -hmm. your price of? 93.75. 93.75 would include mm -hmm. delivering the wrap to the temple. Yeah. Because, I mean, as far as delivering it to 901 versus the town garage, it's pretty much the same distance. Well, I think that makes you a little better. So, sorry that it's come down to this, fellas. Sorry. Um, but I'll make a motion to accept Pike's price with the amendment that was just given that they will deliver the approximately 1,300 tons of recycled asphalt to the town garage. Second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, uh, those in favor? Aye. Those opposed? Motion carried. Uh, Thanks, fellas. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, no, thank you. And in the future, we appreciate if it. you guys want roads looked at in the springtime, Bring us both out at that time, and we can measure it together, come up with a quantity and a scope of work for you, and that way when we come bid time, it's it's all the same. I can see us bringing it together, coming up with the approximate tonnage, and putting out a bid request for this much tonnage, <laughs> and then being done with it. <clears throat> yeah, just put in there what you want. I mean, nope. if you want coal planning, if you want the wrap, if you want that stuff, um, they're all, and you guys all know, they're all, they all cost money. So we have to put our, at risk, so we have to put our money where, where it is, you know, so that's. Now, now I'm going to have money left over because of the state uh, grant, and I want to do some other paving. So yep. I want to know what the tonnage, what you, what we came up with. What you're going to charge me per ton for mix. Yep. Because it does. No, yeah, it won't be 93. So what you're saying is there's no coal plant. No, there's no coal plant. No, there's reclaiming and, and paving on that one. Mm -hmm. Yep. So I So what what is the tonnage? What what what's the price on the tonnage? Just just the mix. You mean the mix? Because itself. because I would like to do some work on the Ranger Road too because I'm still gonna have money enough to do some over there. So that's just gonna be Inch and a half. Inch and a yeah. half on Granger Road? Yeah. Okay. Can we get together and look at limits so that I can give you a very clear tonnage? No, I think we want a price per ton. Yeah, I want to know what the price per ton is. <clears throat> I don't want to measure anything. <laughs> no, no, measuring. Measuring. no, I don't need to measure anything. 
I know it's a long haul. No, it's very long. <laughs> Some sort of a uniform bid or bid thing, or it's, good. it's a good idea, Brad. Yeah, should have a form that says coal funding for tons. Yeah, yeah. Two inch. No, and I appreciate the guys have really been helpful to me. So, yeah. well, like I said, believe me, every time it's just, there's very few that give us what we want, and we go to these meetings, and it's always right. the same thing because when you want us to go measure it. Everyone, and again, especially if you want like a shim coat first, mm -hmm. and I have to go out and decide how big the ruts are, and I have to decide that okay, I'm going to put 400 tons down, and Tyson looks at it and says I'm going to put 300 down. Right. Well, that 100 tons, that 60, 70 dollars ton, can lose you a bid like that. And I'm like, well, how do you figure out the bid when you didn't give us a tonnage? You you wanted me to estimate a tonnage, right. so I did it to my best of my ability. And then I lost the bid because they came up with 300. Then they come out and do 400. Exactly. And then I and then I lost it. And I'm like, well, you paid more money. Their price per ton was higher. Right. But they, they were the tonnage. They were the low bidder sure. because of their tonnage. Much tonnage. No, yeah. I agree. I think it's just. It's kind of, you were not alone, that was my point. So don't right. think we're well, coming here to give you a hard that. time. I mean, it's, 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 they all do it, and it's. I look forward to an opportunity well, to improve my. Sure, yeah, no. Mm -hmm. Again, well, the I thing mean, is, to find a way that is fair and, and accurate. Well, I've been trying to decide all week how to dissect this. And, <laughs> I, and that's why I wanted to right. do this prior to the meeting. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, well, again, we can all measure length and width, so you right. can come up with a tonnage very easily. And again, it's it's based just like a state bid. It's only for comparison purposes only. You're going to pay exactly what Wayne said, whatever you put down. You and might so put sixty. If you want to measure the length of this room by the width of it, and it comes up with eight ton. Then say you're bidding on eight ton. I mean, that's ridiculous because of trucking yeah, costs. Right. But then we're all bidding on eight ton. And I mean, if you want shim and you want it to be a half inch, well, there's. I can mean, right. give you a book outside that tells you exactly how to calculate tonnage. <laughs> so you can come up with a tonnage like that and just say, well, everyone is going to give me 800 tons of shim, 1,000 tons of top, type 3, type 4. I want two inches of coal planing at this many square yards. Don't let us calculate square yards. And then you'll get everyone who's bidding on the same time. Because the issue is that we don't know how much money you got left over because if sure. you use 1,600 tons over there, you don't have as much as Exactly. Right. No, you don't. And that's why you just get the <laughs> price up front, and you, when you right. run out of money, you say, hey, stop here. Right. <laughs> so exclusive of reclaim, which is a square yard cost or price, we'd be 7650 for overlay and then the paving on Scott Hill Road slash turn, paint turnpike. Right. And then I'd give you a, I'd have to go look back in the office what my square yards were for. Because what we are also... So it's going to cost us $76 a ton for Granger Road to... Yeah. Because part of the problem is you're looking at different mix types as well. So out on out on Scott Hill Road, there's Paint base mix road. and top. And then on Granger Road, you have top, just top mix. Well, can you submit something? Yeah. About that. Yeah. Like I say, I apologize again, but I think that's it's okay. the fairest way I could come up with it. Yeah, no, that's all we right. ask. <laughs> we do this all the time. It's fine. Well, it'd be nice to have it a little bit smoother. Well, sure. Yeah. <laughs> like your like 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 your paving. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice. That's the goal. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Well, thank, thank you guys. We appreciate, appreciate it. Appreciate it. Right. Uh, let's see, bid for roadside mowing. I'm afraid to go on. Uh, <laughs> we had two bids for roadside mowing. Um, we did speak with both bidders. One of the bidders, Sean Lampson, does not have an over the rail machine. Um, and which left us with the bidder that did have an over the rail machine and Darnell Dexter's price was $250 less 
Um, we did ask in that bid, and that bid does say we want an over the rail machine. What about the second pass? When, no. Well, we not ask uh, and again, we had, um, I'll, I'll speak to that, but we had put six feet, and apparently it's five feet. For uh, the, 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 yeah, you so can't that, get a six foot more deck over So we're only going to use a five foot mm -hmm. cut. Right. Are you having any that are going to be done yes. twice? Um, he's going to do all the black top up here on the hill twice, just like we did last year. So that footage was extra last year and it's going to be extra this year. Okay. But he just does He charges $65 an hour. Okay. And if it takes him two hours to do it, we'll be lucky. Oh, really? Yeah, we've got to take home. All right. Well, I'll make a motion to approve the bid to Donnell Dexter for roadside mowing for $5,000 plus an hourly rate of $65, $65 an hour for the second patch. Second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Those opposed, motion carries. Um, Browns Mill Road speed limit change request, Dana. We've had, uh, as you know, I brought this on, it was on the agenda last time. Since last time I have spoken with the police, the police, um, they were supposed to put the machine that tells how fast you're going. I understand it was on Route 12 and not Browns Mill Road. However, we will adjust that. Um, but um, Officer Tears did go over one afternoon. Um, obviously, it's a very interesting road because you're only on that road because you live there. It doesn't go anywhere. Um, and rough estimate is maybe 30 car trips a day of people going out to work, coming home from work. Uh, Officer Tears went out in the afternoon um, last week and placed himself in a place that wasn't obvious. And his top speed of vehicles coming in there was 24 miles an hour. Um, so I think I'm going to ask him if he would do it a couple more times because the state recommendation for speed limit change is to do a little more in-depth traffic report. They recommend having 100 cars, um, and that would take us. It just doesn't work there. Um, and we're, um, we're trying to see if that makes sense as far as doing that. I don't know if people, there's a basketball area that the kids play right next to the street and, and I would think when people see kids playing basketball they would slow down when they turn in there. Um, Sarah Winters, who I've spoken with, um, does feel that people are going quicker than 35, faster than 35. So you said the average speed was 24? That's what he found by being there last week. The so average speed or the top speed? So, so what's the... What's the um, so that was the top, top speed. Oh, 20, 24 was the top speed. speed. Top speed. Yeah. Okay. He, I think he was down there for two hours. He was down there a couple hours. And yeah. he probably had well, they could put that. If they could put that machine... The, uh, it does not... Re oh, I did find out it does not record anything. So, yeah, I asked um, the same question. it's just a display. Huh. I thought well, it would I probably be <coughs> I wonder if it would be worth where the, the speed limit is posted, put one of those little flashy signs that uh, you see every now and then. That yeah, there's solar. What's that? There's solar. They got a little radar gun on them. Yeah, they just flash your they speed is. There's a little solar panel on oh. top of it. I know Montpelier has them there by Main Street School. Yeah, uh, Waitsfield has them there by their school. Northfield put one in down on Route 12. Yeah. What would you call it? A speed limit flashing sign? Yeah. <laughs> sure. Google it. I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> uh, I can I can find out because Cabot has one. How? I don't know how expensive they are. Either. I don't either. Yeah. I know they're all for me in Cabot. I'm worse that with that than I am with paving. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine they must get a network safe. I would think. Probably. Yeah. But you see them on the throughway also. Well, and that might everywhere. not be a bad idea. Um, I, but I guess the point I'm trying to make is that we are really trying to do a, a good effort to yeah. see where we are over there. I think that those uh, flashing signs, I think that people in general think that they record something. It's they sometimes they do. nervous. Yeah. yeah. So if anything. Persuade them. There's one where they're fixing that bridge in Middlesex. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. 
I, I know I saw on Channel 3 the news the other night, state police are putting them out on the 89 in, in uh, troubled areas, and it records every car. Really? So they're getting an estimate of what the, the rate of speed is. Yeah. Every, yeah, the average of every every car on the interstate. So I know some of them do, and, and the ones that they're using on the interstate are like what we're talking about, the little yeah. silver things. Yeah. Yeah, because so, once you put them up, you don't have to worry about them. Okay. So I'll bring this back to you. Um, it's an ongoing project, and I have communicated with um, Sarah Winters down there. No, sure, we're working on it. Yep. So we'll come back for the next meeting. Um, participation in municipal roads grants and aid program. This is um, basically, I just would like the select board's approval to participate in this municipal roads grant in program, and this is for the road permit that we're going to be required to have as of July. Um, the, the permit paperwork is 24 pages, <laughs> and so it would help to have expertise from the, uh, from the uh, Central Planning Commission to help us with that. This is basically just a letter saying that um, we would like to participate in that. If we decide we don't want to, um, that's okay, but they do need to sign a letter by June 22nd if we want to participate. So move to, move to sign the letter of intent to participate in the uh, Rural Planning Commission Municipal Road Grants and Aid Program. Second. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries. And coincidentally, I have three lines for you to sign, and that worked out very nicely. Four, 2018. Mm -hmm. I have, I mean, one? No, I have, I have a, um, a couple notes on these. I wasn't here for them, but I just mm -hmm. um, on the May 21st one, there was a uh, let's see, the grant opportunity for the bicycle and pedestrian program. There's a motion, Kelly, not to proceed with the application, so on, so on. Second, Lamberton. There's no report of the what happened with the vote. I expect it was 3-1 or unanimous. Good point. I'll take care like of that. that. And there's another one of those um, in the next select board minutes for June 4th. Um, yeah, on road grader discussion. And I don't know. Okay, so under road grade discussion June 4th, it says Lam it said Lamberton moved to go forward with the work on the grader. I don't know if that was a motion that just died for lack of a second or if it was seconded and it was on the So the grader's fixed. So they, I think what it was is the discussion was do we put money into the grader or do we buy a new grader or do we mm -hmm. lease one? And we chose to repair the grader. I can uh, review the tape and see who seconded it. Yeah, it's and, just a, and a, a just fix that so it's correct. Okay. And, and, and these will come back to you I next. I think it's going to be the bill's going to be cheaper than what we thought because he estimated two to three weeks. He also was driving back and forth. Yeah. Yeah, and they took they took it up there. Took the greater up to that. So. Good. And I, I don't have a bill for the trucking yet. But. So those will come back to you next week. Uh, that greater is what electronic injection. Mm -hmm. So the so the fuel pump that they've changed just a high pressure pump. And I know one time when you start it now and you can get on it, I haven't graded with it. I'm going to tomorrow, but you got some black smoke pouring out of it, and it seems like it's got a lot more power. Yeah. So I guess she was getting tired. Probably wasn't running on many cylinders. Mm -hmm. okay. No, because he, he came with his laptop and plugged into it over there, and he could make it run on one cylinder, and that's just what it sounded like, was running <laughs> on one cylinder. Okay. <coughs> Approval of 
licenses, permits, vouchers, and applications. I move to approve general fund accounts payable warrant 18G25 with checks 18161 to 18207 in the amount of 111,524 Also general fund accounts payable warrant NSB03 in the amount of $5,970.53, as well as payroll warrant 18 25 for payroll May 27th, 2018 to June 9th, 2018 in the amount of $44,650.44, as well as May general journal entries and May tax administration entries, reconciled May bank accounts statements for the General Fund Sewer Commission and the Water Division. Second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, motion carries. Um, see, the town administrative report, doesn't it? I have a few things. Um, last October, um, the town joined with several other communities in the state to apply for the FEMA pre disaster mitigation grant to help us prepare the hazard mitigation update. Um, that grant has not been approved by FEMA yet, and the current hazard mitigation plan expired on May 18th. Uh, I've talked with Stephanie Smith of the state's emergency management office. She's the contact for this grant, working with FEMA. Um, one catch-22 that towns have found themselves in is that we would like to use the 25%, the town is responsible for 25% of the cost. Um, and we would like to use in-kind services to offset that cost. If we go ahead and start doing any work on it, on our own, until we get the grant, we wouldn't be eligible to use that. Um, so, I was, it was recommended to me not to do that, but to wait until the grant is ready to go. Um, Stephanie feels that FEMA should be ready in the next few weeks. Um, we're not the only town in this situation. Um, I think about the mitigation plan update is simply updating the information in it, but it's apparently a little more involved than that, and we do need some expert help to do it. Uh, the worst case scenario that if we are in a situation where there's a disaster at the moment, and it is a declared disaster, we would have 30 days in which to submit a draft to Stephanie and would cons be considered that we would have a plan and so we could partake of the, the benefit of that. Um, you had spoken to me about calendars at one point, so I'm trying to come up with a, a sensible way to calendar. So I'm, I'm using what my calendar is and I just use it, it's on, I guess it's Outlook calendar. I have a calendar in mind which is involves me in all cases, but I have Dane and Tim, Dane and Diane, Dane and Tom, and then I have the select board members and some of them. So this is what I have in your calendar <coughs> right now. If you think I've forgotten something, please let me know because I'm trying to be um, vigilant about keeping it. Um, some of it. The red is that it's past due, which is, but two of my reds are taken care of tonight. Um, so we've got Browns Mill Road that's still on the calendar. We have the road width inventory for the Ash Borer project that is still on the calendar. Appointment with assessors, um, which by the way will happen July 2nd. They'll be in to talk with you. Um, <coughs> visit with you on that. We also have the public hearing next week and the second for um, the master plan update. And we have an approval of the warning for the combination. I'll talk about it a little more in a minute. As far as the master plan update, I mean the warning is the master plan update and the bond for the sewer division um, that they're working on the project. Tom doesn't have figures yet. He will probably after the <coughs> public works meeting on Monday. Which is the same day as the hearing. It happens to be the same day as your next Monday, right. So I won't be at the hearing, I'll be at the public works you meeting. You can't be in two places at once. Right. Okay. Um, 
So again, please let me know if you think of it in the calendar. I can certainly give you that every meeting or once a month or however often you get it. I think it's a good way to start. To, I would think no more than once a month. You know, I, I, try to, I try to get things off it um, as quickly as I can. Um, so we did speak that next Monday is a public hearing on the master plan. That is not a regular meeting night, but at 7 o'clock we will be meeting here. And then the meeting the following week on July 2nd is a regular meeting night and the public hearing will be first. Um, there has also been the consultant for the Planning Commission has added a section on implementation of the program, in other words, who's, how do we make sure that we adhere to the, the new um, rules, or we could call it a code enforcement, I suppose. It's always the hardest thing we do is to um, make sure we enforce our own rules. Um, and I should ask you, you all have a copy of the master plan, I hope. Okay. It's online. It is online. Um, we do have it to pass out if you need it, and this was just added to it this week, so just so that you'll be aware of it. Um, and then I've spoken to you about the assessors. They've, they've finished the grand list. They have completed the grievance hearings. They will be here to meet you with July 2nd. I have asked them to bring their documentation so that they show you what the changes were. And, and how they came to be. Um, I think that we're working out very well with the assessors. They've they're, uh, been very responsive to um, issues that we've had in the past. And finally, at the July 2nd meeting, again, will be that approval for the bond for the sewer division and approval of the master plan ballot that needs to go to be printed with ballots. That's it. Okay, round table, Wayne. Jeremy? Um, I heard from a resident over on um, Rowell Hill Road about some drainage issues that could impact the cemetery up there. Um, I did not go look at it myself, um, but apparently there's some serious, um, some serious damage to something or the other. Again, I would have to go and go and check it out. He's, yeah, we've gone over there. He's referring to um, as you come from the Route 12 section of Bravo Hill, on the left is a bank as you mm -hmm. go up that hill. Mm -hmm. Right, the cemetery is at the top of the hill, mm -hmm. and there's a bank. And um, and I also spoke to that gentleman, and the it has eroded. I don't know how long it's been. I Tim and I have um, spoken about that. Tim doesn't feel that it's imminent that bodies are going to be coming out of the cemeteries, I guess for lack of a better way to put it. We do have some water drainage that goes over the cliff there. Mm -hmm. uh, if we did get in there, that's not our right of way. Um, so that would be something right. we'd have to have to address. So is this something the cemetery commission should handle? That's a good question. I could talk to um, <laughs> I, 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 I know I have to know of one here. member. Right. Um, and I could talk to Randy. Well. That's what I'm trying to pass the process. No, I, I, I just, I, I haven't seen it. I don't know what's... Um, How long, long Tim, has that been like that? Has it been that oh, way a while? Going well. I mean, it's got a little worse. I don't disagree um, with the gentleman. I mean, I, it's there. Um, part of the problem was is that up further on the road, there was a water bar. Mm -hmm. Old guy that lives out in the field out there don't want the water on his land. But the water bar has been there as it was there when I was here back in the eighties. Hmm. So he plugged it off on us without my knowing of it. And we got some heavy rain, so where'd the rain all where'd the water all go? Right. Down the side of the road because it can't get off the road. Right. Down down across the flat there and it went down through by the cemetery and it dumps over the bank. And that's what made it worse. Is there anything that we can do about it or should do well, about I've, it? Well, I've put the water bar back in and he's left it alone, so we haven't had the water going down the road like we've had in the past. Is it deep enough to put a culvert in? Uh, is there enough room? Is there enough there's depth? a culvert. 
There's a culvert there. Right? There is a culvert. There. Yeah. So what, when did you put the water park back in? Um, last year. But I've got some big rock over here. Like he said, it's out of our right away. And I mean, I can I can dump some big rock in there, and maybe that'll stabilize the bank on the lower end of it. But I don't know how we're going to so fix. Whose property is it? Yeah, I own the farm there. Um, Rogers? Is that Nate from Nate's land? Nate Rogers there? Yeah. I believe so. Just ask him. He'll, he'll let you put that in there, I'm sure. So, because they wanted me to move it down the hill further. I can't move it down the hill further. Because if I do, then we're dumping it right in the back of his, right into his barn. Barn sure. there. Right yeah. on that concrete slab. Not be no. no. But, but, no. But, I, but I would bet if you went and asked Nate and said, I'm going to put some riprap or something on there, just try to stabilize it or do something. I think that would probably. How far out of the right away is it? Oh, it's a ways. It's probably even 75 feet or better out of the right way. But, I mean, I don't know how much land the cemetery owns there. I don't know if the fence. What if the cemetery commission asked the town to, uh, <laughs> asked him to go dump the river out <clears throat> if it's okay with the landowner? <laughs> yeah, I mean, is there a way? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I, that's I, great. Well, I did, what I'd have to do is, is I'd have to uh, yeah. dump some at the top where you picked up the TV. Yeah, let's fill it with riprap. And and we're just working out okay, there. Okay, because it's quite a drop there. Yeah, yeah. And I have to build myself a road out there so I can get to to the bottom of where it is. Does road. he have a better access back around from his side? I Who's mean. That? Nate Rogers? Rogers? No. No. I mean, no, it's, too no, it's like okay. it's like coming down off that wall. Right I, I, I just I just wasn't I sure if it was if it would have been but, easier. I mean, it, if the fence is the cemetery's boundary, which probably is, not that I know, but and it's not even close to that fence yet. Okay. Well, we could prevent it that way. Yeah. And, and I, I can do it can, without going through a lot of problems down there. And, just don't go in that hole there. Well, I'd have to build myself a road out there so yeah. I could get out far enough so that I could. I went to look at it and someone had thrown a TV over the side, so you should have seen me picking this giant. <laughs> and, the, and the funny part of it was, <laughs> is I graded the road that morning. Did you right? throw the TV in? Yeah. The TV <laughs> wasn't there when I graded the road. <laughs> so that, that's how I put that garbage in. <laughs> He was down there shortly after I got done grading the road. And the TV wasn't there. So I mean, I can try to fix it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it with our excavator. I don't know if it's going to be big enough to get, to, you know, because you can't reach out there too far with it. Especially okay. if it's a cliff. <laughs> I don't really want to go tumbling down over there. Do, um, so, second thing, do we already set the tax rate? Is that one of the things? That is see? going to happen, I'm hoping, on July 2nd. Great. Um, after the assessors are here, because obviously we're always in a crunch to do that and get the bills out. Anything else, Chair? Okay. Okay. Uh, a motion to convene liquor board. Move to recess the select board and convene the liquor control board. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. I have one um, permit. It's an outside consumption permit being applied for by Foy Enterprises doing business as Dog River Brewery. He's located at 1400 U.S. Route 302. Um, he has gone to the DRB and received zoning permission to have outdoor um, seating and serving of uh, spirits and beer and food. And um, seating will be approximately 30 by 54, enclosed by a removable pedestrian barrier of 40 inches in height. It's a covered part of the shopping center walkway. So under the canopy, basically. Yes, and I have no reason to tell you not to. I move to approve the application. Second. Any further discussion? How's this, um, how are the is he going to allow people to walk through the uh, scene I, I suspect he's going to have some sort of arrangement where you can get into his store and without having to climb over tables. Yeah. Well, I was thinking more about going from uh, 
say the Chinese restaurant to Vans Auto. I'm assuming that'd have to be a three foot walkway for the public safety to approve it. Okay. Yeah. I honestly don't know. But, yeah. Very good. Okay. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries. Um, move to adjourn the Liquor Control Board and reconvene the Select Board. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Any executive session data? No. Move to adjourn. Second. So moved. All those in favor? Aye. Aye.